Fiat Luce. I think that's right. Let there be light. It's what God said at the beginning of Genesis. I've always viewed the book of Genesis as a sort of an allegorical situation. Adam and Eve and the apple and the fall and all that stuff as a way of the religious leaders of the day trying to rationalise that's God's chosen people, the Israelites, <clears throat> trying to rationalise the world in which they lived <clears throat> and their relations, their humankind relations to God. And nothing's changed. Every single human being has to face this at some point in their lives, quite frankly. Why are we here? Who made us? What's the meaning of life? These questions have challenged philosophers and, and thinkers and peasants and anyone who has ever lived through all of humankind's existence. I have the answer, the reason we're here. It's not <laughs> that I'm particularly clever or anything. <laughs> The answer is, the meaning of life is to love God through Christ. This is why we're here. That is why God put human beings in the world to love God through Christ. And Christ came to give us this example of perfection. We have the Gospels, obviously, the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. I've got a snuffle. <coughs> it's just my sinuses. It's, I, I don't have COVID as far as I know. Oh. And there's a nasty new variant of COVID as well. But I mean, that's what viruses do. The metamorphose or whatever the other word is. To better facilitate their capacity to propagate. <laughs> Throughout this coronavirus this year, in I live in England now primarily, I do travel but or have travelled widely in the past. <coughs> Um, where, where do I hear in the sort of mainstream media from the churches or from politicians or commentators or anyone quite frankly on the news about God. But God is the boss. He's in charge of everything, including some little coronavirus. He was, he is, he will be. I've just Googled yet again an image of the sun and this little pimple. That's the earth. I think it's 109. The sun. Our sun's diameter is 109 times the size of the Earth's diameter. It's made up of hydrogen and helium, and at its core, how they work this out, I have no idea, but anyway, it's, the temperature is
27 million Fahrenheit. Now, I do get things wrong, so please don't blame me for that. But I just looked it up, so that's the figure I remember. 27 million Fahrenheit. And that is just a little bit hot. <laughs> so you whack together two hydrogen atoms, H2, H2, and you end up with helium. Helium is possibly the most stable element in the world. Certainly one of them. I'm not a chemist. But um, just in terms of stability, the structure is the carbon atom in the center and then four uh, hydrogen atoms, CH4. Where do I hear about God in this world? <sighs> right, there are organizations of man, mankind. So my background is primarily Church of England, Protestant side, certainly. But I've actually avoided becoming a priest through uh, Roman Catholics, a Benedictine monk, and I've avoided becoming a, a, a Sorry, I've avoided becoming a monk through the Roman Catholics, the Benedictine monk, and I've avoided becoming a priest um, through the Church of England. Back here, I live quite near a city called St Albans, the Cathedral and Abbey Church of St Albans. It dates like 1077 to 1088, that's when it was built. The jolly old Normans came over from France and conquered uh, England or whatever, and then they built all these cathedrals. It's just a load of old stone, mate. Sorry, God is not impressed. I mean, just go to the Grand Canyon or go to the Victoria Falls in South Africa. Go to any sort of worldly marvel like that. Then we look at our sun, a middle ranking star. There are thousands of millions of stars in our galaxy. There are thousands of millions of galaxies. That's energy. Then there's dark matter and dark energy. I was the best physics student my school had ever had, for heaven's sake. I try and keep in touch with this stuff. They haven't got a clue. The scientists, the physicists, string theory. Ah. What's a string? Well, it depends on the perspective you're looking at it from. <laughs> the Higgs boson, the God particle. Oh, please. Give us a break. No one's got a clue. I've got the answer. Hmm. The answer is love God, love your neighbor as yourself. Those are the two commandments. Christ came to give us God's word made flesh through Christ. We're coming up to Christ Mass now, this week now. I'm on Sunday, uh, 20th of December, obviously. In the year 2020, you know, I can't help myself when I do this. Parkinson's, Hertfordshire, where Hurricanes hardly ever happen in England. Where is love? I'm sorry. I don't hear it or see it. Everyone's rushing about like mad things and mourning their loss of their Christmases and their meetings with their families and everything. <laughs> well, 
Oh, yes, I agree. It's a quiet little Christmas then. The BBC kept playing this clip of a woman in Norfolk who's dying of cancer. Well, I trained at Bristol University as a medical doctor and, oh Lord, oncology medicine. Um, it's the relatives who suffer possibly more than the actual people who are dying of it. Um, our duty is to relieve pain <clears throat> Obviously. But she's not going to see her sister now. She's in Norfolk, I think. This lady. But it was on the BBC Radio 4 News anyway for several broadcasts. So, um, just sort of highlighting the suffering that this coronavirus is causing to people. Well, that is a fact. I've just looked at the maps again. It's mostly in Europe and America. Actually, I, I looked at the death per million in Pakistan. Now, whether we trust these figures, but it's down at less than 100. We, in the West, sort of in... I think Belgium is the worst in Europe, but it's over a 1,000 deaths per million. I've just looked at the figures on the World Ometer site. Well, I think it's perfectly simple and obvious to conclude that we in the West travel. We've got transport, trains, cars, etc. Buses. And we move about. Therefore, the bug gets moved about. Therefore, it's transmitted. <laughs> Where do I hear? Of anyone in the normal mainstream media speaking of God. The BBC has probably got God banned because if they speak about God through Christ, they've got to speak about all the other gods or something. Brilliant. There's no lockdown on me. <laughs> well, that's the thought beliefs come. Amen. We're coming up to Christ Mars 2020. I think it's been a beautiful year as a Christian. Because finally God has said, uh -huh. me give you coronavirus. Me wake you up. -y. Not so simple. Just rush about, make lots of money. Ah, listen to God. Ah, most interesting. Amen. Oh,